The Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box is a device that will sync the colors that are displayed on your TV to the colors of your Hue lights. It can provide a cool immersive experience when consuming entertainment content. However, it is expensive and I do personally do not find it worth $229. If you have a laptop, you can get the same exact experience by installing the Hue Sync app and hooking up your laptop to a television. This is awesome to do when watching movies, but what if you have a gaming PC that's not hooked up to your living room and would like the same experience while gaming? Well, with the Hue Sync app and Steam's in-home streaming, you can accomplish just that. Let me show you how. So in a nutshell, this works by running the Hue Sync app on your desktop and you use Steam to stream your games to a smart TV or set-top box that supports Steam Link over your home network. Steam Link is available on Samsung TVs, Android TV, Apple TV, and more devices. So make sure you install the Hue Sync app on your desktop and that you also install and configure Steam for remote play. Also, install the Steam Link app on a supported device that's connected to your television. So that's an overview on how it works. Let's get on to the detailed instructions on how to accomplish this. So here I am on my desktop and you can see the Hue Sync apps icon. I'll click on the application to open it. When it opens, you can see different profiles that control your Hue lights in different ways. You have profiles for gaming, music, and videos. We are interested in the gaming profile, so I'll select that. If you see above here, you will see that it's set to my living room. That's what I want, but I'll click on it to show you how you change which room the app controls. It's currently set to my living room. And if I want to set it to my bedroom, I can click on that. But since it's my living room that I want the app to control, I'll just leave it as that. Now, click on the toggle next to the living room icon to enable the app to control the lights in the living room. And then click on the green start light sync button to begin the syncing. The living room area in the app now turned blue because the app is mimicking the look of my desktop which has a lot of blue now. So that means the lights in my living room also changed to blue when I started the light sync. Now all you have to do is make sure that Steam is open so the remote Steam Link application on your TV can access it. So let me quickly show you how to enable remote play in Steam. Once you have Steam open, you want to click on the Steam menu at the top left, then click on Settings, and then go to the Remote Play section. After that, just check off Enable Remote Play. After this, just go onto the device that you're going to enable Remote Play in, open up the Steam Link app. Your computer should appear. You want to go to that and then just follow the instructions and then you'll soon be able to do remote play. It's time to head out to my living room TV now. Here I'm in my living room with my Nvidia Shield connected to my television. I'm going to run the Steam Link application so it can stream games from my PC to my television here. And since the games are actually running on my PC, the HueSync application syncs the colors of the games to the lights in my living room. I'll begin playing some of The Witcher 3. The game is loaded, and when I walk around, you will see my hue lights change colors according to how the screen looks. Right now, the time of day in the game is dawn, so my lights have a look as if the sun is setting. And here's the game with some daylight gameplay. Now I'll show you some Skyrim gameplay. Don't mind the mess I created around town. And the last game I'm going to demonstrate is Red Out, a racing game that has a wipeout type of feel. So that's it. If you have Steam installed and set up in-home streaming, 
You don't need the expensive Hue sync box to accomplish this. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.